Um, first, let me start by saying that the relationship, bilateral relationship, is extremely good right now. We, we've, uh, we are reaching a historical moment in the bilateral relationship, triggered in part by re renegotiation of NAFTA, who forces us to discuss, to talk to each other on a more regular basis. But also, I think what the decision of Prime Minister Trudeau to lift the visa removed the last irritant that existed in the bilateral relationship. We've reached last year $40 billion of, of two-way trade between Canada and Mexico, which is uh, all-time uh, high. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's our third largest trading partner. Uh, Canada is the third or the fourth largest foreign investor in Mexico, depending on who, of who you, who, what statistic you look at. So we've had a huge interchange of minister and secretary between Mexico and Canada over the last 12, 15 months, uh, showing the very, very high importance. And as I said, uh, we had the Minister of Energy coming to Mexico with a mission of 37 company uh, earlier this year, in early February, which uh, start, already started to give results. Companies see the potential between in Canada, Mexico, uh, Mexicans start to discover who we are as Canadian in terms of technology, in terms of transfer of knowledge, transfer of know-how. And we've signed this huge uh, agreement between CENER and the University of Alberta and the University of Calgary f to train and, and uh, to train uh, technician and engineer over the next several years. So I believe that the relationship is at an excellent level right now, and both at the political level, but at the commercial level also, both private and, and private sector, and from the provincial point of view, we are uh, we are uh, at, at a high level in terms of intensity of the relationship.